Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and welcome to migrating Autodesk Inventor templates. In this video, I'm going to use the task scheduler to migrate my Autodesk Inventor 2011 templates to Inventor 2012. This can be a lot quicker than opening and saving each file individually. It automates it all for us. So to get to this, I'll start out on my Windows desktop. I'll go to the Start button, All Programs, Autodesk, Inventor 2012, Tools, and there's my task scheduler right there. I'll choose Create Task and Migrate Files to build the task. I'll choose my folder and I'll browse to the location of my templates. Now in this case, I'm using a custom location that I'm pointing out with my project, so that's where I'm going right now. And there's my template location. I'll hit OK, and now I can control my settings. I want to run this immediately, and I'm not worried about a log file in this case, so I'm just going to turn that off. And then I'll check my options. In this case, I'm pretty happy with my options. I don't need a total rebuild, for example. So I'll just go ahead and hit OK, and the migration begins. So now what's going on is Inventor's opening in the background, and it's doing the open and save for me but it's going through each one of these files one at a time. So if I had 30 files, for example, it's doing it all for me, and I don't have to directly interact with it. I can let this run at night. You saw that I could schedule a time, or I can just do this at any time when it's not convenient for me to sit here and monitor it and let the automation take care of it. So as things get rolling, we'll see both the percentage complete of the total operation and then the amount of memory that's currently being used uh, by the machine. So I'm using uh, about uh, 300, 280, 300 megabytes of my RAM. Now, depending on how many files you have, this operation can take a bit of time, usually on the order of a few minutes, not very long unless you have a ton of uh, template files. But just let this run, check on it, come back in the morning, however you set it to run, and it'll go ahead and carry through. And after a few moments, you can see it's approaching the end, still using roughly 300, a little more, uh, gigabytes of RAM. And when the operation completes, we'll see the check mark saying that it's indeed done. And I can right-click and then create a report. And I'll usually go ahead and check this, at least to do an inspection. And this will tell me if any files failed for any reason. Could be anything from a corrupt file. Could just be that the file was read-only. There's a few reasons why a file can fail. But this will give you a chance to inspect that and correct that. This one looks good. I'm ready to go with 2012. Thanks for watching, everybody.